here and I'm joined by the Minister of ICT, um, Honorable Kazan Kazan. Thank you so much for having this interview with us. So we understand that today was the official launch of the, um, the Zimbabwe India bringing the digital um, divide. So maybe if you can tell our viewers what it is about and how it's going to benefit Zimbabwe going forward. Because we have also understood that the ship is already sailing. So you're, it is already sailing. When you're not in it, you're already there. And I'm not behind. sure if you're in it. <laughs> okay, uh, as you'd appreciate, India has made some strides ahead as far as ICT is concerned, especially you know, when, you know, when it comes to software engineering. They've done quite a lot, so there's no point in us reinventing the wheel. So the whole idea is to come together for ourselves. As Zimbabwe, we have the brains, we have the human resources, if you like. So, and they have moved a few steps ahead of us. So we are saying, maybe if we come together as Zimbabwe and India, we can learn some things from them, you know, having had, you know, having experienced, they've already experienced quite a lot as far as ICT is concerned. You heard from, uh, uh, is it uh, the ambassador? Uh, they were talking about how they have actually formalized the informal sector through ICT. What are some of the things that we can also learn from, from them? So basically the whole conference, the whole idea is to exchange ideas, create partnerships, and see how best we can together bridge the digital gap. That's the whole objective of this conference. With the mantra, um, Zimbabwe is open for business, how, how, how does this, con uh, this conference, the official launch of this, uh, of this event that happened today, um, help Zimbabwe moving forward? Moving forward, like I, like I mentioned earlier on, you know, we cannot talk about developing a whole country. The first one is talking about, uh, you know, uh, having a middle income economy by 2030, which basically means it will not be We cannot achieve that without ICT. So all we are trying to say is let's benefit from the synergies that, you know, can have between Zimbabwe and India. In the long run, he, he spoke about he spoke about the ambassador, the ambassador, the ambassador of India. He spoke about uh, how they managed to bridge the gap uh, in India. So from this conference, we are hoping that our local business uh, they can create relationships and see how best we can also do the same. We spoke, they spoke about uh, infrastructure building. Uh, they, spoke, they spoke about you know, improving access to internet. such conferences. That's how everyone down in the lower areas will end up benefiting from the conference of this of this nation. The whole idea is to ensure that internet is accessible to every Zimbabwe. That's the whole idea. And for that to happen you need infrastructure and you need education in that regard. So that's exactly the main objective of this conference. To see how best our you know, Zimbabwean business people, Zimbabwean ICT professionals can link up to their Indian counterparts you know, with a view of developing ICT infrastructure in this country. Thank you so much, Minister. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. No, 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 no. That's enough. <laughs> That's, I want to The main objective of this conference. And we also understand that the internet is meant to be everywhere and is meant to benefit everyone in the country throughout Zimbabwe. So we can only wait and see how this is going to pan out for every layman out there. Are we going to access internet? Is everyone, how are we going to move forward as a country? Are bearing in mind that Zimbabwe is open for business. Thank you for watching.